Welcome to Chronicles of Time Sleep Stories. Finding moments of peace in the hustle and bustle of our lives can be a big challenging. Our channel is your sanctuary, a place where captivating tales blend with soothing tones, guiding you toward restful slumber. Escape from the noise, let go of the day's stresses, and allow our stories to transport you to realms of tranquility and dreams. Whether you're seeking relaxation, meditation, or simply a good night's sleep, you're in the right place. So, settle in, close your eyes, and let the journey to serenity begin. In our unceasing journey through the corridors of life, moments of pure, unadulterated tranquility can sometimes seem as elusive as shadows at noon. The modern world is a symphony of endless noises, from the incessant hum of digital screens to the ceaseless whispers of obligations, commitments, and desires. In this symphony, our souls often search for a gentle lullaby a melodious escape, a chance to pause, breathe, and simply be. Now, as you find yourself here in the magic of this narrative oasis, know that you've stumbled upon a sanctuary, a world where serenity isn't just a luxury, but a promise. Picture, if you will, a secluded haven, nestled amidst nature's embrace, where the wind hums lullabies, and time itself seems to tread lightly. This is where we invite you to journey with us, a place of meditation, reflection, and utter calm. Begin by taking a deep, resolute breath. Feel the cool air grace your nostrils, traveling through the depths of your lungs, filling your being with the ancient rhythms of existence. And then, as you exhale, imagine releasing the shackles of worry, stress, and the relentless march of time. Each subsequent breath is a step deeper into the heart of tranquility, a dance with the universe, an affirmation of the present moment. We live in an era where the very essence of our existence often feels fragmented. Pulled in myriad directions by demands, expectations, and the invisible threads of technology, it's easy to lose oneself. But these tales, each a gem sculpted from the rich tapestries of imagination and insight, seek to offer you a bridge. A bridge not just to sleep, but that in itself is a cherished realm of restoration, but to a state of soulful relaxation, where the world narrows down to the here and now, where every heartbeat is a reminder of life's simple beauties. These stories are not just words. They are portals. They beckon you into worlds where the pace is gentler, the colors more vivid, and the sounds harmoniously aligned with the rhythms of the cosmos. Here, amidst these tales, you'll find characters and landscapes that resonate with the deepest parts of your psyche, invoking a sense of familiarity and nostalgia. They're like old friends or forgotten dreams, waiting to welcome you back. As you immerse yourself in these narratives, let the outside world fade into soft focus. Envision your stresses and anxieties as leaves carried away by a gentle stream disappearing beyond the horizon. Let the weight of expectation, the clamor of responsibilities, and the noise of uncertainty be replaced by the soothing cadences of these stories. Every word, every phrase is a brushstroke painting a world of peace, inviting you to step in and explore. Sleep, that precious gift, is not just a physical necessity, but a balm for the soul. It's nature's way of healing, restoring, and rejuvenating. 
As you stand at the threshold of dreams, these tales are the gentle hands guiding you towards restful slumber. They remind you of the beauty of surrender, of letting go, of drifting into the comforting embrace of night. So, dear listener, as you embark on this journey with us, know that you are not alone. Through the magic of these tales, we are with you, sharing in your quest for tranquility and deep, restorative sleep. Let these stories be your anchor, your lighthouse, guiding you away from the tempests of daily life and into the calm waters of relaxation and dreams. Welcome to our sanctuary. Let the journey to serenity begin. The Shaman's Parchment Chapter 1 The Quest Begins In the heart of a vast, uncharted forest, shrouded in a tapestry of emerald green and mysterious whispers, lay the enigmatic legend of the Shaman's Parchment. For generations, this legend had been passed down through the oral traditions of indigenous tribes who inhabited the surrounding lands. It spoke of a sacred document, a parchment of unparalleled significance, said to hold ancient knowledge about the world of spirits and the mysteries of the universe. Dr. Harrison Mitchell, a fearless explorer with an insatiable thirst for the unknown, had dedicated his life to uncovering the truth behind this mystical tale. The journey to find the shaman's parchment was not for the faint of heart. Dr. Mitchell had spent years meticulously researching obscure texts, poring over faded maps, and consulting with indigenous tribes who guarded fragments of the legend. Each piece of information had led him closer to the heart of the mystery, but the final chapter remained elusive. Armed with a tattered map, passed down through generations of tribal elders, he had embarked on an expedition that would take him deep into uncharted territory, both physically and spiritually. The sensation of mystery and wonder appeared to grow stronger as he traveled deeper into the dense, old woodland. The woodland floor was covered in mottled patterns of light and shade as sunlight seeped through the dense canopy overhead. The smell of soil and the far-off murmur of a hidden river filled the air. It was a universe unspoiled by time, where the lines between the visible and invisible merged, and the partition separating the material world from the spiritual one appeared incredibly thin. Dr. Mitchell couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched, not by the ordinary inhabitants of the forest, but by unseen forces, guardian spirits that had dwelled in these ancient woods since time immemorial. The whispers of these spirits filled the air, carried by the rustling leaves and the gentle sighs of the wind. He knew that he was treading on sacred ground, and the legend of the parchment had warned of spiritual tests that awaited those who saw its wisdom. The legend had spoken of trials, trials that were not of the physical world but of the spirit, challenges that would test the very core of one's being. Dr. Mitchell had heard stories of explorers who had ventured into the forest in pursuit of the parchment, never to return. But he was undeterred, for he believed that his quest was not just a journey of discovery, it was a journey of spiritual awakening. One of the first trials came in the form of a rickety rope bridge suspended over a chasm of swirling mist. To cross it, Dr. Mitchell had to confront his fear of heights and trust in the unseen forces that guided him. With each step, the bridge swayed and creaked, and the mist below seemed to churn with spectral energy. But he pressed on, his heart pounding, his palms sweaty, knowing that his quest was more than a physical journey, 
It was a spiritual ascent into the unknown. The bridge seemed to stretch on for an eternity, a fragile thread between the mortal world and the world of spirits. As he neared the other side, he felt a profound sense of relief, but also a deep understanding that the challenges he faced were not just physical obstacles, but manifestations of the spiritual journey he had embarked upon. Another trial came in the form of a dense, eerie fog that enveloped the forest. Dr. Mitchell had read about this phenomenon in the legends, the fog that tested one's faith, that challenged one's belief in their own instincts. As he entered the ghostly shroud, visibility dropped to mere feet, and the world became a labyrinth of confusion. It was a test of his inner compass, of his connection to the unseen world that lay beyond the veil. Dr. Mitchell knew that he had to rely on more than just his physical senses. He had to trust in his intuition, his inner knowing. Through meditation and a deep connection to the natural world, he navigated the fog and emerged on the other side with a clearer sense of purpose. Each trial seemed designed to strip away the layers of the physical world and bring Dr. Mitchell closer to the spiritual essence of the forest. It was as if the very fabric of reality was being stretched and tested, revealing hidden truths and challenging his preconceptions. As he ventured deeper into the forest, he began to encounter signs of a hidden world, the ancient symbols etched into the bark of trees, the intricate patterns of moss that seemed to form cryptic messages, and the subtle but unmistakable presence of guardian spirits that watched over the sacred land. Dr. Mitchell understood that he was not merely a seeker of knowledge, he was a participant in a grand spiritual drama, a dance between the seen and the unseen. Each step he took brought him closer to the heart of the forest, to the epicenter of the legend, and to a revelation that would forever change the course of his life. The quest for the shaman's parchment had begun, and as Dr. Harrison Mitchell delved deeper into the mysteries of the ancient forest, he knew that he was on the threshold of a journey that would transcend the boundaries of the physical world and unlock the secrets of the spirit. Chapter 2 Trials of the Spirit The dense, ancient forest seemed to hold its breath as Dr. Harrison Mitchell pressed on through its labyrinthine depths. Every step took him further into uncharted territory, and with each passing moment, the palpable sense of mystery and wonder deepened. He was acutely aware that he was not just on a physical journey, but an odyssey of the spirit, guided by the legends of the shaman's parchment and the unseen forces of the forest. As he ventured deeper, the trials that tested not the strength of his limbs, but the resilience of his spirit became more profound and spiritually charged. These were not obstacles to be overcome with brute force. They were challenges meant to reshape his inner landscape. The next trial was a test of endurance, a seemingly endless expanse of dense undergrowth that seemed to conspire against his progress. The forest floor was carpeted with thick vines and thorny plants, and Dr. Mitchell had to rely on his instincts to find the path through this formidable obstacle. It was a lesson in patience and adaptability, for he could not force his way forward. Instead, he had to move with the rhythm of the forest, carefully choosing his steps, sometimes even backtracking when the path led to a dead end. As he navigated the tangled web of vegetation, he couldn't help but draw parallels between the dense undergrowth and the complexities of his own inner world. The trial was a reminder that true progress often required a harmonious blend of determination and adaptability. Emerging from the tangle of undergrowth, Dr. Mitchell faced a new challenge, 
the crossing of a meandering river, its waters shimmering with an otherworldly light. The legend had hinted at the significance of water as a conduit between the physical and spiritual realms, and this river was no exception. To cross it, he had to relinquish his fears and doubts, to surrender himself to the current and trust in the unseen forces that guided him. He waded into the water, feeling its cool embrace, and allow himself to be carried downstream. It was as if the river itself was a living entity, a guardian of the parchment secrets, and it tested his ability to surrender to the flow of life. As he emerged from the river on the far bank, drenched and exhilarated, he felt a profound sense of purification. The water had washed away not only the physical crime, but also the mental and emotional burdens that had weighed him down. It was a baptism of sorts, a reminder that the journey was as much about inner transformation as it was about external discovery. The trials continued, each one more spiritually charged than the last. Dr. Mitchell encountered a grove of ancient trees, their gnarled branches reaching for the heavens like sentinels of wisdom. It was here that he faced a trial of self-reflection, a mirror-like pool nestled among the trees, its surface as still as a breath held. As he gazed into the pool, he saw not his own reflection but a shifting kaleidoscope of images, an amalgamation of memories, fears, and aspirations. It was as if the pool held a mirror to his soul, revealing the hidden depths of his inner world. He was confronted with his own vulnerabilities and insecurities, and he understood that to continue the journey, he had to confront and embrace these aspects of himself. Hours passed as he sat by the pool, delving into the recesses of his own psyche, wrestling with his inner demons, and ultimately emerging with a profound sense of self-acceptance. The trial had taught him that true strength came not from denying one's vulnerabilities but from acknowledging and integrating them. The final trial of the day was a test of his connection to the natural world, a communion with the forest's inhabitants. Dr. Mitchell had learned from the legends that the spirits of the forest could be both benevolent and mischievous, and he had to prove his respect and reverence for all living beings. He encountered a family of deer, their eyes filled with curiosity as they regarded the intruder in their realm. Dr. Mitchell approached them with a gentle demeanor, his heart filled with a deep sense of kinship with the creatures of the forest. He offered them a simple gesture of goodwill, a handful of forage berries, and they accepted his offering with a grace that spoke of ancient alliances between humans and animals. The connection he felt with the deer and the forest as a whole was palpable. It was as if the natural world itself had recognized his sincerity and welcomed him as a temporary guest in its sacred domain. The trial had emphasized the importance of humility and respect for all living beings, reinforcing the idea that the quest for the shaman's parchment was not a solitary endeavor but a partnership with the entire ecosystem. As the day drew to a close and the forest came alive with the songs of unseen creatures, Dr. Mitchell found himself at the threshold of a new understanding. The trials he had faced were not meant to be seen as obstacles but as opportunities for spiritual growth. Each challenge had revealed a facet of his own inner landscape and had deepened his connection to the unseen forces of the forest. He set up camp beneath the canopy of ancient trees, feeling a sense of peace and gratitude wash over him. The legend of the shaman's parchment had guided him to this point, and he knew that the journey was far from over. Tomorrow would bring new trials, new revelations, and a deeper immersion into the mystical heart of the forest. 
Dr. Harrison Mitchell closed his eyes and listened to the symphony of the forest, feeling the presence of the guardian spirits that watched over him. In this moment of stillness, he knew that he was exactly where he was meant to be, a seeker of ancient wisdom, a traveler of the spirit, and a participant in a sacred dance between the seen and the unseen. Chapter 3 Guardians of the Parchment The dawn broke with a symphony of birdsong, casting a soft, golden hue over the ancient forest. Dr. Harrison Mitchell awoke beneath the canopy of towering trees, his senses attuned to the rhythmic pulse of nature that surrounded him. As the remnants of his campfire smoldered, he felt a renewed sense of purpose. The trials of the previous day had been a prelude to something greater, and the legend of the shaman's parchment beckoned him deeper into the heart of the forest. With each passing step, Dr. Mitchell's connection to the mystical world of the forest grew stronger. He felt as if the very trees whispered secrets to him, their leaves rustling with ancient knowledge. It was as if the guardian spirits of the forest had recognized his sincerity and guided him on his quest. The legend had hinted at a tribe, the keepers of the parchment, who were the custodians of the shaman's wisdom. Dr. Mitchell's journey had led him to the territory where this elusive tribe was said to reside. He approached their sacred land with humility and respect, knowing that he was a guest in their realm. As he ventured deeper into the forest, he began to notice subtle signs, markings on trees, offerings of dried herbs and feathers, and the faint but unmistakable presence of guardian spirits that watched over the land. These signs served as guideposts, leading him to the heart of the tribe's territory. It was at the edge of a tranquil clearing that he encountered the first member of the tribe, a wise elder who sat in silent meditation beneath the dappled sunlight. The elder's eyes held a depth of knowledge that transcended words, and Dr. Mitchell approached with a sense of reverence. The encounter was wordless, a silent communion of souls. Dr. Mitchell understood that words were inadequate to convey the depth of his quest, and the elders seemed to perceive the true purpose of his presence. With a simple gesture, the elder motioned for Dr. Mitchell to follow, and they embarked on a journey deeper into the heart of the tribe's territory. The forest seemed to come alive with the presence of the keepers of the parchment. Dr. Mitchell encountered men, women, and children, all attuned to the rhythms of the natural world. They moved with a grace that spoke of their deep connection to the land, and their eyes held a wisdom that had been passed down through generations. The tribe lived in harmony with the forest, their dwellings woven from natural materials, and their way of life reflecting a profound respect for the earth. It was a living testament to the legend of the parchment, a reminder that the knowledge contained within the sacred document was not a distant relic of the past, but a living, breathing tradition. Dr. Mitchell was introduced to the tribe shaman, a figure of immense spiritual authority within the community. The shaman's presence was commanding yet gentle, and their eyes held the secrets of a thousand lifetimes. It was with the shaman that Dr. Mitchell would learn the true significance of the shaman's parchment. Seated in a sacred circle, surrounded by the tribe's elders and adorned in ceremonial garb, Dr. Mitchell listened as the shaman began to speak. The language was ancient, a melodic cadence that resonated with the very soul of the forest. Through the interpreter provided by the tribe, he learned of the parchment's origins and its profound connection to the spiritual realm. The parchment, it was revealed, had been created by a shaman of the tribe eons ago. 
It was not a physical document, but a manifestation of spiritual knowledge, an embodiment of the interconnectedness of all life and the mysteries of the universe. The legend had spoken of the parchment as a written text, but Dr. Mitchell now understood that it was a living, breathing tradition that had been passed down through the tribe's spiritual leaders. The shaman explained that the parchment's teachings encompassed a deep understanding of the natural world, the cycles of the seasons, and the sacred geometry that underpinned all of creation. It held the keys to communing with the spirit world, to understanding the language of animals and plants, and to harnessing the energies of the cosmos. As the shaman spoke, Dr. Mitchell felt a profound resonance with the teachings. It was as if the parchment's wisdom was not foreign but a long-forgotten memory, a recognition of truths that had always existed within him. The legend of the parchment had drawn him to this moment, to a revelation that transcended the boundaries of time and space. The tribe's elders shared their own experiences with the parchment's teachings, stories of healing, visions, and communion with the spirit world. They spoke of a profound sense of unity with all living beings, a recognition that they were not separate from the natural world, but an integral part of it. Dr. Mitchell realized that his quest was no longer solely about obtaining a physical artifact. It was about embodying the teachings of the parchment, about becoming a vessel for its wisdom. He had undergone a transformation, not just as an explorer, but as a spiritual seeker, and the legend of the parchment had led him to a deeper understanding of his own purpose. As the sun dipped below the horizon and the forest came alive with the songs of unseen creatures, the shaman offered a blessing and initiation into the tribe's spiritual lineage. Dr. Mitchell was invited to partake in a sacred ritual, a communion with the spirit world that would forge an unbreakable bond between him and the parchment's teachings. Under the canopy of stars, surrounded by the tribe's elders and guided by the shaman's wisdom, Dr. Mitchell embarked on a journey of the spirit. The ritual was a dance between the seen and the unseen, a bridge between the physical and spiritual realms. It was a testament to the profound connection between humanity and the natural world, a recognition that the quest for knowledge was not a solitary endeavor but a partnership with the entire ecosystem. As the ritual concluded, and Dr. Mitchell stood on the threshold of a new understanding, he knew that the legend of the shaman's parchment had led him to a revelation that transcended words. The parchment's teachings were not meant to be possessed, but to be lived, to be shared with the world, and to inspire others on their own spiritual journeys. In the heart of the tribe's sacred land, surrounded by the guardian spirits of the forest, Dr. Harrison Mitchell had found his purpose to bridge the gap between the physical and spiritual realms, to share the wisdom of the shaman's parchment with the world, and to inspire others to embark on their own journeys of self-discovery and communion with the mysteries of the universe. The quest for the shaman's parchment was far from over, but Dr. Mitchell had become a messenger of its teachings, a seeker of ancient wisdom, and a guardian of the sacred knowledge that had been entrusted to him. As he closed his eyes and listened to the timeless rhythms of the forest, he knew that he was exactly where he was meant to be, a conduit between the seen and the unseen, a guardian of the parchment's wisdom, and a steward of the natural world. Chapter 4 The Revelation under the velvety curtain of the night sky, with the ethereal glow of the tribe's sacred fire flickering in the background, Dr. Harrison Mitchell stood at the culmination of his spiritual initiation. The ritual had been a profound communion with the spirit world, a dance between the seen and the unseen, 
and it had forged an unbreakable bond between him and the teachings of the shaman's parchment. The tribe shaman, with their eyes that held the wisdom of countless ages, regarded Dr. Mitchell with a mixture of reverence and approval. The bond between them was not one of teacher and student, but kindred spirits who had traversed the realms of the unknown together. As the night deepened, the shaman invited Dr. Mitchell to sit by the fire, and they began to speak, not in words alone, but in the language of the heart and spirit. The shaman shared their own journey, their calling to become the guardian of the parchment's wisdom, their years of training and initiation, and the profound experiences that had shaped their understanding of the natural and spiritual worlds. Dr. Mitchell listened with rapt attention, feeling a deep sense of gratitude for the privilege of being initiated into this ancient lineage. The legend of the parchment had drawn him to this moment, to a revelation that transcended words. It was not just a quest for knowledge, it was a transformation of the soul. As the conversation continued, the shaman revealed the true nature of the parchment, the understanding that it was not a physical document but a living embodiment of spiritual knowledge. It had once taken the form of written text, but its essence had transcended the confines of the material world. It was a stream of consciousness, a reservoir of wisdom that flowed through the hearts and minds of those who were attuned to its frequency. Dr. Mitchell marveled at the revelation. The legend of the parchment had guided him through trials and challenges, through physical and spiritual landscapes, and it had ultimately led him to this understanding the parchment was not something to be possessed, but something to be lived, to be embodied in every aspect of one's existence. The shaman spoke of the parchment's teachings, which encompassed a deep reverence for the natural world, the interconnectedness of all life, and the recognition of the sacred in every living being. It was a path of spiritual awakening, a journey of self-discovery, and a call to become a steward of the earth. With each word, Dr. Mitchell felt the teachings resonate within him. It was as if the parchment's wisdom had always existed within his soul, waiting to be awakened. The legend had drawn him to this moment, to a revelation that transcended the boundaries of time and space. As the night wore on, the shaman offered a glimpse into their own experiences with the parchment's teachings, stories of healing, communion with the spirit world, and a profound sense of unity with all living beings. They spoke of moments of transcendence, when the boundaries of the self dissolved, and they became one with the natural world. Dr. Mitchell realized that his quest was no longer solely about obtaining a physical artifact, it was about embodying the teachings of the parchment, about becoming a vessel for its wisdom. He had undergone a transformation, not just as an explorer, but as a spiritual seeker, and the legend of the parchment had led him to a deeper understanding of his own purpose. As the first light of dawn painted the sky with hues of pink and gold, the shaman led Dr. Mitchell to a sacred grove an ancient circle of trees that seemed to emanate a palpable sense of reverence. It was here that the true initiation would take place, a communion with the spirit world that would solidify his connection to the parchment's teachings. The ritual began with a chant, a melodic invocation that resonated with the rhythms of the natural world. Dr. Mitchell joined in, his voice blending with the voices of the tribe, creating a harmonious tapestry of sound. It was a language that transcended words, a song of unity and reverence for the earth. As the chant continued, the shaman led Dr. Mitchell to the center of the grove, where a small fire burned with a sacred flame. 
It was a fire that had been kindled from the embers of countless generations, a symbol of the eternal connection between humanity and the natural world. The shaman offered Dr. Mitchell a bundle of dried herbs and aromatic resins, which he placed into the fire. As the fragrant smoke billowed upward, it carried with it the intentions and prayers of the tribe, a collective plea for guidance, wisdom, and unity with the spirit world. With each breath, Dr. Mitchell felt a deepening connection to the sacred flame, to the earth beneath his feet, and to the canopy of trees that encircled the grove. It was as if he had become a conduit, a bridge between the physical and spiritual realms. As the ritual reached its zenith, the shaman offered a final blessing, a whispered invocation that seemed to resonate with the very heartbeat of the forest. In that moment, Dr. Mitchell felt a profound sense of unity with all living beings, a recognition that he was not separate from the natural world but an integral part of it. As the sun rose above the horizon, bathing the grove in a warm, golden light, Dr. Mitchell knew that the legend of the shaman's parchment had led him to a revelation that transcended words. The parchment's teachings were not meant to be possessed, but to be lived, to be shared with the world, and to inspire others on their own spiritual journeys. With a heart filled with gratitude and a spirit awakened to the mysteries of the universe, Dr. Harrison Mitchell emerged from the grove as a guardian of the parchment's wisdom. The quest for the shaman's parchment was far from over, but he had become a messenger of its teachings, a seeker of ancient wisdom, and a steward of the natural world. As he walked back to the tribe's camp, he knew that his path was now clear, to bridge the gap between the physical and spiritual realms, to share the wisdom of the parchment with the world, and to inspire others to embark on their own journeys of self-discovery and communion with the mysteries of the universe. The legend of the parchment had drawn him to this moment, to a revelation that transcended words. In the heart of the forest, surrounded by the guardian spirits of the land, Dr. Harrison Mitchell had found his purpose to be a conduit between the seen and the unseen, a guardian of the parchment's wisdom, and a steward of the natural world. And so, his journey continued, guided by the teachings of the shaman's parchment, and fueled by a deep sense of reverence for the earth and all living beings. For in the sacred dance between humanity and the natural world, he had found the true essence of his quest, a quest that would forever be intertwined with the eternal wisdom of the forest. <laughs>